Attention engine 44, engine 3, engine 6, truck 3, truck 19, battalion 1, battalion 3, one alarm fire at the State Ferry 1100 through 1198 1st Avenue, box 060008, Big Tech is on fire. Engine 44, going to Big Tech. 777 on channel 1. 777, go ahead. Be advised, I'm in route over here to Big Tex. There's a large column of black smoke. 777 is out at Big Tex. Got a rather tall cowboy. All his clothes burn off. 777 out. Rather tall cowboy with all his clothes burned off at 1031. Engine 6 out. Big Tex on fire. On fire. Howdy, folks. It's hot. <laughs> 19's out. Big Tex is gone. Truck 19 out at 10:32. Big Texas is gone. Friends and neighbors, we are here today to pay tribute to the remains of a man who entertained us for many years. Can you get amen? Amen. We are here today to say goodbye to Big Tex. Big Tex loves the children. He loved adults. Man loved all races. He entertained us all the way up to his untimely combustion. <laughs> For you see, he was pronounced dead by the Dallas Fire Department on October 19th at 10.32 a.m. His head caught fire around 10.15 this morning, quickly spat and then burned him naked. <laughs> I'm sure it will take many years for the children around Big Tex to forget the image of Big Tex bursting into flames. I'm sure. I'm sure it will also <laughs> take many years to forget the image of him stomping in circles, <laughs> screaming, My legs, my legs, Big Tex. <laughs> what is it, Dan? I love today. <laughs> Can we begin again? Mm hmm. Back up a little bit. I'm sure it will take many years <laughs> for the children to forget the image of Big Tex bursting into flames. It will also take many years to forget the image of him stomping in circles, <laughs> screaming, My legs, my legs, Big Tex can't feel his legs. <laughs> I'm sure it would also take many, many years for the children to forget Big Tex running over and over into the Hall of State trying to put himself out. <laughs> he was born in Cairns, Texas. A tower of a man, praise God, standing 52 feet tall over the state fair, watched over us for over 60 years. An icon of the Lone Star State. He proudly wore that star on his chest and knew what it meant. Yo. <laughs> Amen. 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 A man to be cherished, a man to be honored. One day he welcomes us through the gates as he always has. The next, his dickies is burning off in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but considering he tucked his jeans into his boots all the time, not really a surprise he burst into flames. <laughs> Be with you in a second. Mm. Take your time, Reverend. Anybody else want to talk? Show sure. Memory of big time. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What? And the boots. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You don't do that. Unless you're... <laughs> yeah, hopefully they can update that on the new big text. Yeah. Can we untuck the jeans? You don't have to do that. Get him some boot cuts. Yeah. I mean, you're getting your pants from Dickies. 
Oh, that'd have to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> Ready now? All set. <laughs> okay, oh, we're going to start again. Yes, Reverend. Yo! <laughs> His chest knew what it stood for. A man to be cherished, a man to be honored. One day he welcomes us through the gates. Next is Dickie's burn off in front of everybody. <laughs> now, considering he always tucked his jeans inside his boots, not really a surprise he burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> it's good flavor. Although our hearts are heavy, our faces stream with tears. But considering the part of Dallas he was in, it was fitting for him to go out in blackface. <laughs> Some days I show like me a lot of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to start again. Yes, Reverend. A man to be cherished, a man to be honored. One day, he welcomes us through the gates as he's always done. The next day, his dicky burns off in front of everybody. <laughs> Considering he tucked his jeans and his boots, not really a surprise, he burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> what a fabulous way to go. <laughs> Although our hearts are heavy, our faces still stream with tears. Considering the part of Dallas he lived in, it was fitting for him to go in blackface. <laughs> in Jesus' name, amen. Let's go, Dan. For more information on the Russ Martin Show, just go to RussMartin.com. That's right. Hey. <laughs> to get signed up for the Russ Martin Show audio archives, which you'll want to do to hear all of this show again, RussMartin.fm. Other show websites, TreyTrenholm.com, DJClo.net, and DanOmalley.com. And, of course, find and follow all of us on Facebook and Twitter as well. For all things 97.1 The Eagle, go KEGL.com. Cindy Skull's up next. Let her deal with it. Oh, I knew I was going to have to be into the lay on that. Yeah. That one was for Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. As we say goodnight. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, see you guys Monday. Yeah. I remember my first time to stand over the State Fair of Texas. There were stares, there were odd glances. They weren't really sure what to make of old Tex. As the years passed, you started to embrace me. Just an old, ugly cowboy. Standing year after year at your celebration of Texas. And every year, you made me feel wanted. Each year, you would honor me and stand in front of the plaza and take my picture with you. I remembered you all. I watched you grow. And to bring your children back to meet old Tex. You always honored me as the guardian of the lost. And I never took that responsibility lightly. And I watched over each and every one of you. As I got older, it was harder to stand. But each year, for those few weeks, I stood as tall and as proud, for I knew its importance. On my last day, as the smoke engulfed my head, the flames blurred my vision. I still tried to make sure you were all safe. As they lowered my body, the firefighters treated me with the respect of a human. They covered me with reverence. This old, ugly cowboy. I'll continue to watch you from the other side. I only regret I didn't get a chance to Say goodbye. And that I gave syphilis to the Statue of Liberty, and I never got a chance to mouth Mount Rushmore. Big Tex!